Hello, welcome back to Hi Wasp. We're today Francip, uh, Francim. Uh, today we're doing volume 8, finally. Of stresses, some get otherwise. Finally? <laughs> this is what you were waiting for? I think I'm recording all this like a four months prior. No, it's more. Five months prior. Another night, another ramble. Ladies, lads, hello. My controller is dead. Ah, art, earth wisdom uh, about a specific kind of foot footwear being made for walking. You wish you had that kind of footwear right now in this current chapter of your life. On any footwear, for that matter. You definitely learn your lesson about getting overexcited at the prospect of a new friend. Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> and running out of you nothing but a <laughs> but a bad rope. Oh, you are. Who are you kidding? Maybe not in that particular bathrobe way, but the chances are high that wasn't the last time you'll fly off into the buoyant afterglow of an intense friendgasm. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm noticing something. Um, did I change... Uh, did I change artist uh, for each volume? Look at this. Like, the reason why is, like, the drawing is so different. Like, I understand the, the character, but if you look clearly, the shadow, if you go here, the shadow, there's shadows, it's interesting, of course, they have like this, um, you know, dotty shadow, I don't know how to define them, I'm not an artist, by the way, but you kind of realize someone else is drawing this now, so they keep doing that, I don't know how it works, kind of interesting, uh, you notice this stuff, small details, just up ahead, you see a troll leaf, with her hive muttering to herself, She's holding, she's holding, she's holding, she's holding an unstable amount of papers and books with one arm, using her free arm to hold a mark steady. She doesn't pay attention to you, which is fine. You don't, you don't get it twisted. You love to make another friend. You just understand now that this is a weird flighty thing. Some trolls you mash with, some you, you don't. You smile at her just in case, but when she walks right by you without stopping, you shrug. This plan is a choke up full of friendable weirdness, but you will live. You only take a few more steps before she sound uh, sorry before the sounds of her absolutely eating shit on the sidewalk makes you turn. Oh my fuck! It happens fast enough, so you only really see the aftermath of unbad, unpended books and papers raining down in a, a in an impressively wide circle around her. Oh globes! Damn, that's rock. She. Sh sh I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was a he. <laughs> <laughs> Assumption, right? Uh, she sees up, but that's as far as she bothers to get after taking a sip from her mug, which somehow must have stayed level in her grip during her fall. She seeks and gets to work gathering it all back up with her free hand. <sighs> yeah, this checks out. As things that will happen to me. Uh, <laughs> what I'm seeing is not like I have anything else to be doing. You've seen a teen movie or two in your day. You know this true troop. <laughs> the cool kid helps the popular nerd after they fall like a chump and embarrass themselves. Then slowly step in establish trust, by the time the credits roll, they're gonna fall in love. Ah, not that you necessarily want to fall in love, or that you're under the delusion that you are in any way cooler than her, but still, it's tried and true, and also like a pretty standard decent person will do. Uh, yeah. So, like the decent person you hope to be, you skedaddle over, <laughs> over there. You stop short on just in front of her white flung ring of items. You want to make sure she's not going to yell at you or <laughs> murder you or anything before you interfere. What? <laughs> jo JK, I busted my house. I know it's a, it's a scene. Oh, you know? He knows? She knows? She knows? I know. I, I don't know. You know? She knows. So, it is a thing. Well. What are you waiting for? I'm already hating the way you're speaking. Be a good bystander and stop standing by. She just, uh, she just, <laughs> she gesture, she gesture, she JJ, she JJ can can level around her. And that's confirmation enough. You meant to pick up a heavy looking book. And there it is. Emblazoned right on the cover. Emblazoned? Okay. Uh, first thing first, uh, um, wow, you you lose. <laughs> we lost the cool label very quickly. <clears throat> a gavel, a humongo fucker of judgment implement, too. It spines all around the handle. 
Dread creeps up your spine, you slowly see this slide your gaze from the book cover to its owner. She doesn't have any ostentatiously blood color themed clothes or uh, on, though you. Well, though while she's sporting socks and sandals, maybe you are cooler than her. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're cooler than her. After all, but their very prominent eye bags are tinged. Ting, tinged? Teal? Oh, ah, globes. A lawyer. <laughs> A lawyer! God damn it! <laughs> It's not that you don't appreciate uh, your one lawyer friend for who he is, it's just you aren't sure you have it in your sneak, sneak, snake, sneak your way into the heart of another. You got a kind of uh, lucky last time, the scales of judgment in your heart starting out weighing your chances. He's standing there paralyzed by choices, pick up more papers. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I choose this. <laughs> You kind of can, cannot look away from the get that gavel. Those spines could really stab a person's skull right open, huh? Wow, thanks for the standing around and staring assistance. It really is helping a lot. Definitely can't just do that on my own. We are still stuck on the image. She stands up, scrubbing the snatches the book out of your grasp. She turns, waving a dismissive hand at you. Never mind. Now you're just my, on my way. She doesn't tell you to leave, but she stops acknowledging you, which you figure is pretty much the same thing. You were iffy about this one from the start, but then it is our check and still stinks. The gentlemen, we failed miserably. Oh, wow. <laughs> we actually keep looking at the gavel. Jesus Christ. You spike as hell. <laughs> it looks uh, fancy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, wow. <laughs> it looks like someone on that from... Uh, uh, Reinhardt from Overwatch was the name uh, using. So we pick up more papers. You start making neat piles of all her stuff after watching you for a second like she's making sure you're not screwing it up. She rapidly heaves herself to her feet and joins in the effort. <laughs> wow, dumb, so much effort! Ugh, I have time for this shit. Make sure, make sure to keep the B34s together in my red folder. What? You look down at your current pile. Oh, B, that's the one with the little hook on top, right? Or oh, it was G. Sweet creaks at your temples. You pick up a little bit of written alternia here and there, but you're still not anywhere near competent at it. Sifting through the papers, you search for anything familiar. You make out in a few words, but there are just a lot of those little guys on these papers. You've got performance anxiety. All oh, right. You probably still cannot read. You look up at her, startled. How can she tell? Well, I mean, you don't look much like a troll. And he's excited like a gun to a mental leap to assume that you are not from here. I'm not gonna do all the M's, guys. It's just too much. <laughs> but also, I've heard about you. Oh, 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 we are famous. We are getting uh, no notoriety. <laughs> you straighten up and press his, uh, press his good press when it comes to friends discussing you, right? Feel stalk. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> wait, is that a good O or is it like a bad O? <laughs> she puts her mug down on the ground and picks up a fallen book, talking as she flips on whatever page she's looking for. That little asshole is going to have even more unfortunate crap to say to me when he finds out I said set us all back by dropping half of our group project in a ditch. Sheesh. She paces in flusters circle until she finds bookmark among the debris, flicking a wet leaf off of it. She shoves it in the open spine of the book and slams it close. Ah, whatever. I can't think about that yet. Gotta get all these back in order first. Righty. Right, yeah, the ordering will stop you. Keep it at that it. Doing the best you can to keep Simran looking things together. You can feel her eyes on your back and you turn to face judgment. But you basically got it, right? Actually. What? What, what do you mean by that? He did say you were quick enough to draw. Uh, you mean uh, our friend? Dizias, by the way? Oh, okay, cool. She doesn't so much smile at you uh, as a grimace. He looks mostly pleased as exhausted and yeah, yeah, expression go. That's as good friendship building material. As any other, you're sort of started with worse than being complimented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the breeze plays at the ends of her frizzy hair. Roughly a few pages while it's at it. Hmm. Not that you aren't frantically trying to prove your helpfulness and have a moment to think. You don't know if the sidewalk is the best place to be starting from scratch with a wall filing system. 
You open your mouth to tell her as much as when a huge papa gas falls in breeze JR's wake blowing Antonique's stack back into chaos. Mother grabbing <laughs> thinks slowly back down the snow globe of paper, takes a long sip from her mug. I exactly actually so <laughs> we cannot sip we cannot sip together! Damn it! Uh, from her mug sitting next to her and then tilts her head back into unleash uh, shingle deep gut Ula, hola you scatter around catching document out of there until the gust is gone it's not that the easiest doesn't seem capable just that she seemed a bit burned out <laughs> relatable uh you know what it's like to feel like you are at the end of your road so now that you have a half a swinging grab at a handle on things here you feel like it's your turn to do the heavy friendship Lifting. No, we had it easier. So that's that a small reader might help, offer a help her organize the old summer with a less breezy risk. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, he, hey, you, your night is pretty wide open. Oh, fuck. Hey, your night is pretty wide open. You wouldn't mind moving this operation to a less windy location and uh, getting it together for real? Yeah. Oh, right. She still sits there kind of <laughs> dazedly, so you take it over. It feels nice to be useful, even if you are not super confident about your skills. Uh, you at least you know how to make a mean pile. Uh, after you make a handful of them, she moves uh, to join the effort. So, 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 so you swoosh, swoosh her back down. You're helpful, um, MC Helperson, and you have got it. You have got it. Got it. She makes a non com committal non com. Come with all noise and watch as uh, you work. You try not to feel too bad when she win winces a few of your sorting decisions. She doesn't stop you at least. She scrunches up her face and yawns, which catches you off guard. Man, she really is wiped. You look away from her to the paper you were about to grab, but it's not there. Hmm, maybe it's, it blew into another stack. You pick it up already and forgot. Yeah, that's probably right. Anyway, she had her eyes closed, so she didn't notice. It will be fine. Holy shit. Once you have everything kind of together, you help her to her feet, you're pretty sure that was her hive she just woke out of, so you ask if you should go there. No, I was headed to the book hive. Uh, okay. I can't take you there. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't take you there. She seemed to re relay, relay a bit now that it's her turn to lead the way. She picks up a hefty stack of her things, balances her mark on top of it all, and starts walking. Move it or lose it. It being the opportunity to engage in some really tedious micromanagement. Okay, there's no choice to be had, really. You move it. Laonos. The book hive is an imposing building inside our series of rooms, opening off a central atrium. You walk past open, uh, one open set of double doors showing off a room full of weird statue display cases, another one bright with the light of dozen, dozen? <laughs> dozens of uh, display screen and uh, humming, humming with electricity. When you're around the curve of the room, you pass a room full of brains in jars. They look like brains in jars. There's a, another still windowless. Are we in Futurama? Uh, anyway, there's another still windowless open, ostentatiously secure with multiple by luck, and what it looks like a retina scanner. Very advanced! Jeez Louise! There are a bunch of trolls in each room, and as you keep passing doors, you realize they are almost all teal bloods. Are they the nerd-cased? Wow! Hush! I mean, yeah, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, we kinda are. <laughs> okay, uh, I know plenty of gold bloods who spend their nerd energy with the internet from their basements, and blue bloods usually have their own personal jerk of both hives. Okay. <laughs> and there are always outliers, I guess. So. But yeah, between us and the Jadis, the book hub is blue green. Dream City? Uh, Tizias keeps moving like this, it's nothing new to her. You guess it isn't. She pushes that. She pushes that. Push, 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 a creaky wooden door open to reveal a large study room full of bookshelves and furniture. There are even a few weird looking ferns decorating the place. Uh, in here, a bunch of trolls, some reading many of their com on their computers. You dump the stuff, you lug her onto one of the tables. Ouch. The sound echoes in there, and a handful of trolls look your way. Yikes! You hope your presence won't be too conspicuous. Uh, you're probably fine, unless anyone gets horny for acting grown. 
what the fuck? Unless anyone gets horny for acting grown and wants to wants a bounty? But you are with me, so they probably won't mess with you. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Unless wait, we are book out. It's like someone go, it's like going to a library. It's like oh, don't worry about it. Unless they are horny. I was like, huh? <laughs> or they or they want to die or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are a little surprised by that. Tizias, uh, who has a lamb down in a chair and is uh, stolidly reorganizing her past, doesn't exactly give off a brawler aura. No, like I know, I'll talk them out of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> or when, uh, or, or why kneel at them about leaving me alone until they do. That makes you feel safe enough to <laughs> time to do some old fashioned organization that is big and project. Anyway. Ah, uh, it's just some bullshit. Uh -huh. She stops and cuts her eyes around the room, but no one is still paying attention. As far as you can see, she starts speaking again, quieter. An assignment for one of my legislator training course. We are supposed to choose a pre prosecutable offense from the scroll of evisceration and list of potential. Uh, she must be able to sense your eyes glazing over. I tell you of another long and not possible legal jargon ramble because she cuts herself off there. It's barely worth describing. Grab school levels, honestly, but it's extremely fucking tedious to research and then annotate. Especially when you can find res uh, <laughs> when you can find sources that haven't been scrabbled nice and fushkia. Fushkia or fushia? Anyway, along with we get things in the right folders in the right order, we should be good for now. Lovely. Sound good enough to you? Plenty of time to keep chatting and getting to know each other. Though she said this was a group project, right? Where are the fucking group? <laughs> Where are the group members? Shouldn't they be contributing? <laughs> like I'll let them... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Just kidding. I'm very good at allowing people to help me. She... <laughs> <laughs> she greets her teeth and nods at you, masterfully setting aside the papers labeled with a letter that looks like a little microscope. Case in point. Anyway, the detail pass already. I just want to make sure to add the finishing touch. Alrighty then, you hear approaching footstep, you had better not be some high blood you're gonna take out. <laughs> you mean you'll do it if you have to. It's a tried and true, you know. Uh, you're just not sure how well this Tena and Nikita will fare in that case. You stop scanning your own for potential bludgeoning material when you see Thesia's expression go from regular tyrant to <laughs> tyrant and annoyed, but not in a fear of mortal peril. You hear him speak right as you start to turn. Oh, he's saying, hey, it is Tagora! Yeah! <laughs> I still wear your bathrobe, man! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> oh, how to match the fool? Ain't a mad puddle, it seems. At least my associates seem to be picking up after you fairly efficiently. Fuck off, so <laughs> Fuck off, Sogo! We'll all have it together. In, uh, we'll have it eat together in time. You sure you don't require any assistance? I'd have to raise my rates for my original offer, but you know it still stands. You did your part already, so spare me both your cell pitch and your com company before you give me a second acid tube ulcer. Alright, you need to do those final edits of yours. So protectual and establishment and gentle don't serve themselves after all. Suit yourself. See you in class. They give each other an identical but inscrutable hand signal. In the half of per perturbation from a nearby Jade is an indication it's gonna be something vulgar. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, perish, perish, <laughs> perish, perish. <laughs> cool. He smirks and raises his eyebrows at you as he turns to go. Come by later. You nod. You open your mouth to be nosy, but Tizia sees it coming a mile away. Or online to you, so don't blow a brain gasket. Uh, just when you think you think I have all the troll dynamics down, you gotta make room for that cursed bastard moments. Anyway, you guess it makes sense. You and your troll friend have all kinds of weird vibes with each other, too, whatever works. Exactly, okay. You go back happily sorting. Tisa rolls her shoulder and starts leaping through your pants. Uh, where's my 
Do you see my head right written page? You should be here. She starts double checking herself, her pace doesn't so much escalate as she does intensify her whole body can becomes almost gracefully we graceful with efficiency. You got everything right? I thought I wish we watch where you all went. Could have sworn I saw it land. You can help you, you can help her redo a lost page, it shouldn't be too hard to recreate, right? That doesn't help, she gives at you and starts forcibly whispering, still double checking piles without looking as she knows them by touch. You don't understand, that's where my personal notes on an extremely sensitive topic I discovered while researching. I was only planning on using it to inform my stance, not to turn it not to turn it, it in with the rest. It's not here. She stopped her for futile research, down to the rest and whatever in her mug and holds her head in her hands. I'm fucked. I might as well lay down my ear until moss grows on my desiccated body. <laughs> That's a bit dramatic, you don't want to blame her or anything, especially since it's possibly sort of your fault if it's lost, but you still want to give her hope. Maybe next time she could use Gurgle, <laughs> Gurgle Dogs, it won't blow away, and he had a collaboration setting you, you use them with. Uh, her head pops back up her features lack. I can't use Google Docs for this. Are you listening? That is the whole point. Oh, okay, but not I guess. You know who owns that, right? Every document is monitored. Analog is the only way to do anything unless you know how to get me on the dark web, which is fuck I fucking doubt. If someone's found it, if my handwriting is recognized, and then holy fucking shit. Then I'll never be able to. She tell us you sort of slump in her seat. Staring to the void, shit, really fucked up. So I'm guessing she brought something uh, anti-establishment, which will probably lead to drones to hunt her down. You admit to her uh, to her that you may have allowed one page to blow away when you weren't paying attention, and it could be possible to have that one. Great. Can't believe I was stupid enough to let someone else handle things. I was just so pirate. Her shoulders start to shake a bit. Oh no. She doesn't cry, but you almost wish her she would. The way she just keeps blinking back her tears and hiding her face with her arm is worse. It's, it feels invasive to watch and thankfully it doesn't last. She needs one, clears her throat and wipes her face with her sleeve. Silently, she stacks all her things back in a pile. Okay, I need to retrace my step. Maybe it wasn't been... It said blah, 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 blah. Maybe it hasn't been spotted yet. Ah, uh, maybe it'll be okay. Optimism. Uh, it won't. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it probably won't. But you know. You reach to how desperate to fix the situation, but she gingerly picks your hand off of one of her books and drops it in your lap. The stomach seems to join it. No, don't worry, I've got it. She rests a little uh, into a precarious heap in her arms, wobbles once and she makes her way steadily to the doors, but she catches it herself, head high. She keeps walking, she doesn't look back. Game over. Ah, uh, game over. Game over! Ah, damn it. Wish we could help. <laughs> Game over! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the episode. Hope you enjoy, and I hope you can see you again very, very soon. We're gonna win this. The last thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help our burn hell friend! Yeah! <laughs>